do we got? 2022 kayaks. That's cool. Accessories. That's nice. Ooh, what's this? Kayak transport cart. Alright, let's uh, add that to the cart. And um, what else we got? Gotta have a paddle, right? Beside an angler. Mm hmm. That's pretty cool. Get me one of those. Let's see. Parts and accessories. Exo dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a handy thing for sure. Wait, that's me. <laughs> Look at all these kayaks. Look at a getaway right there. That's my favorite. Paddleboards and sleds and anchor and push pole. Yep. Getting one of these. Yep, I'm getting some of these too. Universal emergency paddle. Man, you know, I remember designing this thing with them. Alright, let's search for Switch our store. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Add that to the cart. And scroll down. Got all my stuff. Good. And check out. Cool deal. That's easy enough. Free shipping over a hundred. That's pretty cool. Payment, credit card. There it is. A few hours later. Hey, look at that. I already got confirmation that it's been shipped. With tracking numbers. Now we just have to wait for it to get delivered. Pretty cool. Several days later. Everything made it fine to the shop, now it's time to get it home. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. The transfer mount makes it e <coughs> the transfer mount makes it easy for anybody to change the Pelican catch mode from a paddle craft into a motorized little vessel. For a very long time now I've been pushing for Pelican to have all kinds of accessories and if you use this promo code marty underscore 20 you can get 20 percent off all of your purchases except for kayaks and small boats just accessories from now until september 30th so for everyone out there who's had a pelican kayak and wished for more accessories that they can get online you're welcome and to everybody out there that saves a little money getting those accessories you're welcome again the catch mode comes with a skeg that is held in place with three bolts so that's the reason for the extra hardware you get when you order a transom mount on their website it's a simple thing to just take the bolts out of the skeg and put the new transom mount in place with the five bolts that they give you this boat is ideally pushed along with an electric trolling motor not a jet motor not a five horse gas motor or anything silly like that here i've got a newport short shaft kayak trolling motor that pushes about 55 pounds of thrust it's all you need to get you out on the water if paddling isn't really your thing i've known a lot of people in the past that have had problems with their health like a bad back or bad shoulders with this eco boost seat and now with the trolling motor this kayak was perfect for getting anybody out on the water Even for me, today the wind was predicted to be 15 to 20, and here I was. Anything over 10 miles an hour is usually more work than fun. And today to get out of the wind, I had to go quite a ways. Despite the heavy winds, the sea state was still low because the wind was coming from overland. But this definitely would have been quite a paddle without the help of a motor. If I had a complaint about this setup, it would be that catching fish is not necessarily any easier. We had just had a front come through a day before, bringing a lot of rain. And today the pressure was high, the skies were blue, and the fish were being stingy. But when opportunity knocks, you just gotta get out there and give it a try, right?
our conditions today are similar to the last time I had this boat out. A little too windy for paddling maybe, but for a motor it's no big deal. I could have paddled this, it would have taken a lot longer, and it would have had a lot less time to fish. It is pretty out here. The ability to put a motor on this thing just like that is a real nice option. I motored my catch mode around for quite a while looking for a fishy spot but the wind wouldn't leave me alone so I had to anchor up. And I actually did eventually get a bite. Something actually went for the lure. Even though it was only a ladyfish, the tug felt pretty good. There's still hope. With hope fading, the wind increased and it was time to move on. I'm gonna pull the anchor. I like that. That little uh that little hole right there. Real nice. As often happens when the fishing is very slow, I changed my mode to see if I could spot a fish even if I couldn't catch a fish. So I motored my way over here to get completely out of the wind, where it was shallow but beautiful, and I'd be able to see if there were any fish around. The electric motor got me in here real quiet like, and I started seeing dark shapes swimming around. That was a good sign. I love being able to see like this. Instead of just blind casting. That was a mullet. What else we got out here? Look at all the bait. This is a fine, fine place. air smells clean and fresh. There's a sheep's head sitting right there. That's a nice size one too. <laughs> Look at all the fish behind me. You guys. I need to have a fishing pole in my hand instead of a camera. I'm just gonna drift up around here. I should be able to see if there's any fish. I might spook them though. There's a big old mullet. We want redfish and snook. That's what we want. There's evidence of a big stingray around here too. So maybe I'll stay in the boat. <laughs> Well, despite the lack of performance by the fish today, I still feel like a guy who's come a long way when it came to paddling along and fishing. Even since my humble red kayak days, back then I used to need pontoons in order to stand up and paddle. Heck, on this one I could even stand on the back of the seat. I have a lot of people to thank for getting where I am today. All of you guys watching my videos, and of course Pelican for having faith in me. Despite my fishing uh, expertise, life can overload you sometimes with too much stuff, too much motors, too much boat, too many aspirations, too many businesses, <laughs> or too much of all kinds of things. And no matter what kind of kayak you ever decide to have, or own, or buy, or rent, I do suggest that you take a little time out from your busy day and get out there. Motor, no motor, paddle or pedal, windy or not. Above all else, make sure you get out there and experience what I think is one of the greatest parts of life.